Yeah, sleep. I'll do what I can. Some lucky charm. God, you are a noisy one. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash you? <sighs> Normally to chalk this up to a bad dream or bad food. Sadly, I can't do that. As for you, I don't smoke. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joint toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! I ain't doing your bidding. I need water. Whoa! Who you work for? Start talking! You got problems, man. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait! going on here I'll take control over my dead find a way. body you hear me You know what? I think I'm needing those meds See now. Never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I ain't doing you no favors. I can feel it. Our minds touch it. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit, fruit creeping, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. Punny, I can. Me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. I'm gonna kill you. Kill you? Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me. First off, how did I end up in the shower? I don't remember coming in here. I remember passing out on the floor in the living room. But I suppose dwelling on that is not going to make a difference. Oh. God. Uh, let's... Let's take care of... Oh. Uh, there's my blood. Let's take care of a few things first. Uh, namely, turn off this headache-inducing music. And 
close these blinds. Because my head is pounding. Uh, okay. Uh, Delamine sent me something. Delamine. Mr. Wells. Dear Mr. V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells' body has been delivered to his family. Well, that's nice to know. What the hell do you want, Regina? Give me more crap. Uh, oh, another gig. Steal a Reaver Courier Service van. Reaver Courier Services Warehouse on Martin Street. Not to be your usual gig. You're going to go to the Revere Courier Service facility in Northside and steal a minibus full of leather jackets. Don't worry. I was also scratching my head at first, but the job itself couldn't be simpler. Well, glad that's the case. Someone's smuggling sin leather combat jackets to Night City to get around the corporate embargo. The leather's imported in the form of jackets, which is then distributed to underground ripper dock that use them for implants which are then sold at competitive prices. Quite a supply chain, right? My client tracked down the shipment, but can't take care of it on their own. You're her replacement. Uh, is that supposed to mean that they are dead? Don't necessarily want to go waltzing in that case. Just remember that the RCS can't roll until it validates the driver's identity. Oh, and did I mention that the RCS warehouse is controlled by the Tiger Claws? No? Well, I'm telling you now. They use it for laundering cash, so don't be surprised to see them prowling around. That's just... wonderful. Let's get dressed and sort this out later. Yes, and... You maybe? <laughs> yeah. More components when disassembling. 20% chance a free component of the same quality as the item. Okay, maybe. Okay. And I'm very prone to that. Let's do that. Okay. Now that we got that sorted, uh, let's dump our gear that we don't need. And let's take a look. See if we got anything new here. We do. Of course, rent never stops. Mega Building Administration. Dear Sir slash Madam, Our records show we have not yet received this month's rent payment for your unit in Mega Building H10. In accordance with the tenancy agreement VD-2330-15722-2030, any subsequent payment delay will result in forced eviction from the property. Wonderful. That's exactly what I need. Not only do I have to worry about my impending demise, but I might have to worry about that without a home. That's exactly what I want. Yeah, thank you. What the? Uh, what do you want? Tajimura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Um, care to explain to me why? Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Okay. Ah, shit. 
Relic malfunction. Alright. Mega building H10 admin informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. Oh, that's great. Um, that's it. Okay. I really need to get this sorted. Alright, um, what can I dump? He does make a good point. He saved me. But why? That is the question. Why would someone randomly help me like that? Don't forget your worth. That is rather dark. Um the Well at least you're not wearing heels. Something ain't right. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm not doing nothing. SCPD, open up. Barry, we know you were in there. Uh, we're here to help. Don't got no fucking warrant. I was good. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. Hi, kid. We came here as colleagues. Nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. Worried. No, now leave me alone. Um, Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the not attention. Not to butt into something that isn't He's not necessarily my business, life. but it's called life. Should I be worried that someone's losing their mind? Did someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, he might know Barry. Hey, I'm a neighbor. Uh, uh, Barry? Might have talked. Do? Go back to where you came from. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a combo once or twice. Uh, you mind? He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. Buzz off. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, patrol. Layabouts. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? I might as well. It's not like I won't be walking past it. Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Well, uh, I guess I'll keep that in mind. There is the fact that, at least, it doesn't seem like he's gone all psychotic. At least yet. So there's a plus side to everything, hey, I suppose. Me. Hello. Seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. Yeah, I've been uh, going through some stuff. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah, in need of iron and lead then, I take it? Uh, not right now, Wilson. Next time through, working against the clock today. Uh, that's a way to put it. Come on. Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family oh, well. and died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released. But initial reports suggest coronary implant failure. Uh huh. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt has also yeah. announced plans to run for mayor. I'm sure that Holt had nothing to do with, uh, how'd you put it? Coronary implant? 
uh, problems. You might want to look into him. Not that that'll do anything or go anywhere. Um, how am I doing? Try to get my car. I'm right across the street. I mean, it so doesn't really pay. Oh, I should probably. Mama Wells. There we go. V. Uh, what the hell did you send that? Um, kind of in the middle of something. I'll call you later. Top of my list of something I want to have to deal with right now. My first uh, priority figuring out who this Takamura is. What the hell do you want, Regina? Just don't leave me alone. I got a Galena I'm selling. So? I have a car. I don't need your. Whatever junker. My car is much, much better. Tom's down. What's up? Nice looking car there. Alright, let's not get run over not to hasten this whole chip taking over as weirdly I do have a certain like for life oh there he is well hope you don't mind if I take a seat Sit. I'll take that as a you, you don't mind. Look so bad. Mm, I then, felt better. In the car. I doubted that you would survive. Why'd you help me? Why'd you help me anyway? Cut the crap. I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. Okay. Is it because I have this chip? This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Mmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Oh, I am. To a point. Let's cut to the chase. What do you want? What do you actually want from me? To begin. You must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Oh, that's so. It well, looks to me you've answered your own question as to her whereabouts. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? You know, now that you mention it, I don't think so. V? I don't think so, no. Can you expand? No matter how much perfume the corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery? No, nope. you're starting to stink. Period. <sighs> Unless you got anything else to say, I've got things I gotta do. Is that all? Really should be going. 
Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. Fair. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. And if I uh, say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Okay. And those would be... What? After I just walk on in there and accuse him in front of everyone? There's so no what? To waste we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain... Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie oh, detector? yeah. Mm -hmm. Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Not much of a politics people. Who are we talking about? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, it's hot. People interested in the cooperation's stable growth. You mean like Hellman? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design. His creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. What is this about? Now, Now, I would first like to ask you. You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Just stay out of this, man. Let's keep it low profile. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. We've all got him. But need to be better about that. Give me some time to think it over. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. You know, like the engineers of the relic? Hellman and his sort? Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. So you know a little bit more than uh, I was led to believe. 
Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Mm. Critical tense in that statement is were. See, so we're looking for Hellman. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the afterlife. I was mm -hmm. quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. Betcha she spotted the corpo in you. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. What? Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. And I could also try my luck with Parker. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought mm. it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. You are very insistent. I cannot stay here any longer. Do oh, what okay. you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Very well. Oh. Zapper doubles in filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Well, aren't you just philosophical? What is this supposed to be? We buddies now or something? You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't got to speak mm. out loud to talk to me. Fair point. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go Just like that. Yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why the sudden change of heart? Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. And how is it you can help me? You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know. If you say. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. The us remains to be seen. There is no us. Up. 
Let's find a quiet spot where we can have a little chat without too much interference. And preferably away from them. Here should work. Meh. There's worse places. Oh, what the hell now? Alright, a couple words. What, what? What? Okay. Uh, thank you, coach. But I've got some bigger things to deal with right now. Uh, we need to talk. Now. Come on. Don't make me call you. Very well. Yeah. That you? The one and only. Shit. Thought you were gone. Uh yeah, you ain't the only one. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Uh that's one way to put it. Taking you heard about the heist. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have uh talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. No, oh, of course. Well, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I need to talk to Evelyn. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. This is Dyer, and you're the only lead I've got. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Humor me. And let's meet up. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Well. I'll take that as... Uh, yes. And with that in mind, let's go get the car and take a little road trip. Uh, soon as I get my bearings. Okay. It's going. Hmm. Is he dead? Nope. Just asleep. All right. Car. And then on to Lizzie's. Maybe. Might be worth checking out the afterlife. Weird. Not that I am overly keen to be uh, I'm not working with. What was his name? Johnny. Someone got mugged there. Hey. Hey yourself. And stay out of my way. Alright. Hmm. Never paid much attention. Didn't realize there's an NCPD right there. Anyways. 
Eh. I'll risk it. Move. Alright. Let's see where they put my car. And hopefully it's still in one piece. No, that's not it. Wait. No, it's not. Okay. Um, yeah, this is it. Wait, what the hell? Johnny, you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. What the hell is going on here?